In this video you learn how to create the solar system as it was known 400 years ago. For this you will use Python and Piglet and get an insight in graphics and motion. This is part 3 of a series. In this part you learn how to add moons to the system. If you have missed other parts of this tutorial, click here to watch it first. Otherwise, let's go! Leo wants to add moons to the system, but how can he do that? The first thing he does is look up the moon positions and speeds in his book. Here they are. Moons are children of planets. So he will create an extra level of celestial objects. Then find a way to make the moons revolve around their planets. Let's see how that works. Leo gives each planet an empty list of moons. The update loop needs to unpack the moons list in variable moon. Leo now adds the moons using the distance and speeds from the book. He starts with Earth's moon. Then Mars moons. And finally, Jupiter moons. Leo can now update their positions in the update method. Let's see if that works. The moons move. But wait, what is happening here? All the moons are revolving around the sun. That is not correct. Moons should revolve around their planets. Leo needs to fix that. Leo looks at the update method and understands the problem. Each moon is revolving around the center of the screen. But moons must revolve around their planet. The inner loop will use the planet's X and Y positions as center point. Leo tests the system again. This time everything runs like clockwork. Isn't it great that with about 50 lines of code, a beautiful solar system can be made? There is only one thing Leo wants to improve in this code, and for this he zooms in on the solar system. Notice that the circles are aliased. You can see the pixels they are made of. The quality of this picture can be improved by using anti-aliasing. If you want to see how that works, Click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.